Okay, so today I'm going to show off a new feature for Joomla 3.2 uh, called content versioning or version history. And basically, here's the use case. Have you ever been e editing an article or some other item in the back end of Joomla and you accidentally delete some stuff you didn't mean to and then maybe you save it and you go, oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. So the basic idea of content versioning is to help you recover from that kind of a problem. And it's a similar feature. You know, it's been available on word processors and other kinds of uh, office applications for a long time. So uh, it's been requested in Joomla. So finally, we got around to adding it. So the way this works is, in this case where I've just deleted some stuff from an article by mistake, I can hit this little versions button up here, and it'll show me uh, any versions that I've saved of this item previously. So for example, here I have the original version, and if I hit that button and hit restore, then I've got this back to the way it was when I started. So that is really the primary use case uh, for this feature, although there, as we'll see in a minute, there are a lot of kind of what I think are some cool bells and whistles in here, okay? So first of all, let's just talk really briefly about how you uh, enable this. If you have an existing site, what we've done is we've added options in all the places where uh, version history is available. So uh, for example, where do we put it here? Yeah, so for example, we have this new option under the editing tag for articles called Save History, and on a new installation, that will default to yes. On an existing installation, you'll have to turn that on. And we have uh, uh, version history available for categories, for uh, articles, for uh, all the components, so banners, contacts, uh, uh, news feeds, and web links, and also, I believe, user notes. So there's some cool things we can do when we when we have that version button, let's open this window again, the modal window. So this will show any version of this item that I've saved. Okay, so we already showed what the restore button does. That is the most important one. That lets you restore from a previous version. We can also preview either by clicking on the on the link or by clicking here and, and doing preview. Now, my favorite bell and whistle uh, in this, which is kind of fun to program, and hopefully people will find useful, is the compare feature. So I can click any two versions and hit the compare button. And what I get now is a pop-up window that shows the changes from the one version to the other. So if you're trying to figure out what changed between two versions, this can be pretty handy. And in the compare view, we have a couple extra bells and whistles. I can filter and just show the fields that have changed. So this is now just showing uh, anything that changed. Or uh, I can show all values. Then the other thing we can do is we can show the HTML code so if you change some HTML uh, inside an article, for example, you can, see, you can see the HTML source that changed as well as the, or just the text. So there's a few little uh, fun things you can do there. We go uh, delete versions. So if for some reason I wanted to delete a version, I can just click that. Then we can also lock a version so that it won't get automatically deleted. So if I click on a version and hit the lock, now it shows that that one is locked. So um, there's a feature, let me go back to the options, there's a feature in the options to try to, if you want to try to control how much space you're taking in the database with the various versions, there's a feature called maximum number of versions. 
So here we've defaulted to 10. So after I've saved 10 versions of an item, when I, when I do a save the 11th, it will drop the oldest version, the delete the oldest version, and then save the most recent version. So you'll only ever have 10 versions of an item saved. Now, if I have a, an item locked, like I just demonstrated, then uh, that will not be deleted automatically. Now, as I mentioned, this feature is available uh, in the back end for uh, articles, categories, and various components. It's also available in the front end for articles. When you, as you know, you can edit an article if you're logged in. You can edit an article in the front end, and we have the same versions capability available in the front end article edit. Now, another very important thing to understand is that this feature is designed to be very easy for third-party developers to integrate into their components. So hopefully we will see lots of uh, third-party components using this same uh, versions feature. So thank you very much. That's a quick overview of versions, and I hope you enjoy using it.